Alexi's former friends are calling her out and they say she knew the whole time. We're going to talk about that, her obvious baby bump during cheerleading, and what her boyfriend had to say in today's video. Hello, Sofa Squad, and welcome back to the sofa, which is behind me with Mr. Roscoe, sleeping soundly beneath it, and my name is Paul. And like I said in the introduction, we're going to be talking about a few things uh, relating to this recent case that has taken place of a mother who took the life of her baby, or allegedly took the life of her baby, in the hospital bathroom. Uh, she claims she didn't know she was pregnant, and everything has just fallen apart from there. Well, fr former friends are coming out and having a few things to to say about what really went down at school. Now again, this is hearsay, this is speculation street, and so just know that going into it. And what we're going to do also in addition to that is we're going to look at some of those prom pictures, we're going to look at the cheerleading video with the baby bump, and then we're going to go over an interview, not an interview, but the body cam footage that the police officer did that has the boyfriend in it. Uh, we're going to hear a little bit of what he had to say, but also we're going to look into some of the mother's behavior during that video and Things that were said during that. We'll be doing this by reviewing some news articles as well as video clips. So let's go ahead and get started. The first article we're going to be reviewing is by Jacob Gaines, and it says teen who allegedly dumped her baby in trash can, master manipulator who hid her pregnancy via classmates. This is July 1st, 2023, 7.03 p.m. Now it claims here that she was a master manipulator who knew she was pregnant and even named the baby boy before killing him, her classmates alleged. Now remember she was 19, she repeatedly denied her pregnancy, blaming her weight gain on birth control pills, but reportedly revealed the truth to some of her high school classmates, the teen's former friends told the Daily Mail. She even planned to name the child Alex, the friends claimed. She knew she was pregnant and hid it from almost everyone for one former classmate said, according to the outlet, she told me she had just gained weight because she was on the pill. The red flags were there, her friend said, as Trevisio gained weight beginning in November. We didn't want to get into her business. The last thing you want to ask somebody who looks like they've gained weight is if they were pregnant. Now let's pause there before we go on to the next little clips here. First of all, again, if this is true and if this goes to trial and these people take the stand, not a good look at all, especially since she's kind of claiming like, oh, I didn't know I was pregnant or whatever. Now, after this, we're gonna watch that video clip of the cheerleading thing, birth her in there. The baby bump is very obvious. It doesn't look like, to me, like normal weight gain. It looks like somebody who's pregnant. Um, we're gonna watch her movements and all that kind of stuff. So I find this very damning. Now what's also interesting is, and I take this again with a grain of salt because we don't know, like, I mean, this is just from a news article, right? Uh, we don't know if these are enemies of hers and that type thing. I would find it, super hard for someone to keep this a secret, but people do, right? Look at Brooke Schuyler Richardson, that whole thing that went down, she didn't tell anybody. And so, however, hearing from these friends, the context of everything is really leaning me to think that she did know she was pregnant. Now also, being aware and in denial is a whole other thing, right? Think about how time is when you're that age where it's much different to us at this age or whatever. She probably thought if she did know, it was like, I'm gonna control this. I, you know, nine months is forever. I mean, who knows at what stage she realized she was pregnant. And if she was on birth control, she might've literally like gone quite some time without realizing that she was actually pregnant until she started to show, you know? And it was like, oh, wait a minute, like something's going on here. Um, but let's continue on to the next clip. Now it says that when her weight gain became too noticeably to be ignored, she said that she needed to go on a diet, but she didn't cop to being pregnant, her friend said. She even told nursing staff after she was admitted to the hospital that she was not pregnant had regular periods and was not sexually active, although lab tests later confirmed she was pregnant. When she, discovered, when she was discovered in blood in the bathroom, the staff initially thought she had tried to harm herself until the hospital housekeeper found the baby. When the news broke of a dead newborn, several people at Artesia High School said it was Alexi's baby, one of the teen's friends said. A few weeks later, Alexi and her boyfriend, Devin Fierro, returned to school 
school, there were whispers about what had happened, but no one knew anything for certain, the friend continued. They came back to school and acted like nothing was wrong, the former classmate added. They didn't even tell anyone why they had been away, nor did anyone ask. Now, it does go on to talk about those prom pictures, which we'll look at here in a little bit and what the photographer had to say about that. Now, here's the other thing with this whole situation right here is hearing the teen and I'm like, oh my God, can you imagine going back to school after this? Now, again, from what I understand, she went back for a brief amount of time. Yes, she did go to prom. That's the whole other thing we'll talk about. But she graduated, though she didn't do the cap and gown ceremony for obvious reasons. Um, so, yeah, when the weight gain became too much and she had to start saying something, I mean, because again, looking at her in the cheer practice photos, I'm just like, it's obvious. It's obvious that she's gained weight and that she is pregnant if you look at her former photos and whatnot. So let's go on to the next clip. Now this one says, Alexa, Alexi is a narcissist, one of her friends said. She named the baby boy. She is accused of killing Alex Fierro. Now I find this part chilling. And again, we don't know if these people really were her friends. You know, you never know at this point in the game. It's like the blame game and the he said, she said that type thing. So calling someone a narcissist like this is a tall glass of water, right? But let's see what else they have to say. It says, Alexi was a master manipulator to everyone said another classmate she had several friends but very few close friends one minute she could be friendly with you if she wanted something then pretend you don't exist the next the friends asked not to be identified for obvious reasons she had this attitude about her as if she was better than anyone else it was almost as if she looked down on you she thought she was the best cheerleader at school because she was friendlier with the cheer coaches than most of the other girls she spent most of her time with her boyfriend of three years although he said two uh, he was also a, high a senior at Artesia High School. The friends say talk about her pregnancy started swirling in November last year when she would have been around seven months pregnant, but she denied it to anyone who would ask. Now again, like these little tidbits of like, you know, oh, she's a narcissist, she's a manipulator, she'll be friendly one second and this and that. I mean, again, we just don't know. But also one thing that I see as a theme here, and again, I'll say this, I forgot to say in the beginning, I I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a therapist, I'm not any of that fancy credentialed stuff just a guy with a sofa and a little doggy and some opinions on true crime so these are just my opinions here when i say this i'm not credentialed to make like an official diagnosis and even if i was i want to make one because i clearly don't know these people but it seems like what's going on here but looking at all these behaviors is there is an, again this dynamic with mother daughter here this seems very toxic the mother's behavior is very questionable throughout all this body cam footage and so a lot of the stuff that we're now hearing these students and say and friends and all that kind of stuff in our behaviors I'm like I'm getting this whole denial thing like going to the hospital and saying I'm not having sex I'm not pregnant I mean come on right she is in my opinion severely afraid of her mother's wrath now, another thing that's completely sus the way they say this is this next clip here. When her weight became really noticeable in mid-December without any prodding from her friends, she told them she realized she had gained weight and needed to go on a diet to get back on track. According to police reports, her newborn later died from entrapment when an individual is in an airtight container, a relatively airtight container. In this case, a tied plastic bag consumes all the available oxygen until there is no longer enough oxygen to sustain life. So it is my opinion at this point from just what we've seen and also we're going to listen to some videos from some of the nurses and staff that were there that night uh, i do believe the baby was born alive and i do believe this the baby suffocated in the garbage bag and it appears that the autopsy does you know this is what the autopsy says i'm gonna go with that above what she's saying that the baby wasn't crying or anything like that uh, and again that could the baby might not have been crying right at the first you know it is weird that the staff want to hear that or whatever she did but that's also why i think that she was able to do that another thing with this is the fact that she was able to have this baby with the staff coming and trying to be like what's going on in the bathroom but remember they gave her morphine and things like this so that could have helped her with the pain of delivering the baby nonetheless it is completely mind-boggling now let's take a moment i'm going to put up these clips of her that cheerleading video this is from daily mail and then we're going to talk about it okay now notice her standing there she's getting ready to do the the little lift up thing which that alone i'm like oh my god i can't imagine a pregnant person doing this and picking somebody up at this stage in the game now here again she's over here i mean this is clearly a baby bump i'm sure she has wrapped her stomach to the hilt i don't see how anyone could see this girl and not question 
is she pregnant, including the mother. Now, we'll also get to what the mother has to say in her denial to cops that she knew the baby was, and they knew that her daughter was pregnant. But first, I want to look at a little montage of what the staff had to say that went down that evening, and then we'll talk about it when it's over. That was a glory, bloody massacre mess. Okay. Could you describe it, if possible? Uh, yeah, there was blood everywhere. I've dealt with death before, but never like this. Right. You know, like, it was horrible. I started getting the trash out, and then when I did that, I seen that there was a baby in it. And that's when I, um, I freaked out. All I saw was black and purple, but once we picked it up, like, the bag suctioned to his face. And that's when I yelled for my charge nurse. She gave me no chance to save that baby. I had no chance, and that's not what I do. My job is to save lives, and I had no chance on that baby. I, I don't know. I've never, I've never seen anything like that, and I pray to God I never see it again. Can you imagine being the staff and living through this and being like, oh my God. Now, the one staff that said that the, the thing suctioned to the baby's mouth, this to me is very interesting. And again, if this goes to trial, this is going to be major because one has to question. So th these are my thoughts. Okay, what do you mean it's suction? Like the baby was still breathing at that point? Because then that leads me to think the baby was still alive then. You know, and they were able to get to it, but the baby, it sounds like, was already dead. So that part, who knows? But the way they're describing it, I'm like, yeah, this was obviously full term. This baby was alive, right? And whether she... It doesn't sound like she actually, like, hand over mouth suffocated the baby, but just put it in the bag and put it in there. Threw it away like garbage. Now, either way, can you imagine being able to go into the bathroom and do this and then come back out and try and play it off? But what that tells me... I mean, first of all, we're not, this is not a stable human being, right, that can do this. I'm not saying that in a negative way, but I mean, I'm trying to look at both sides here and be like, this is not normal on any level. But that's how great her fear was of the repercussions, right? Now, I'm not saying that that makes it okay for what she did, but I'm looking at the two sides here of like, this was a girl that was literally petrified of the repercussions of this at home, which I'm assuming could possibly be from her mother. I wanted to put this little snippet up here because it's absolutely horrifying to me of the nurse, Lori, adding to what she had said about the color of the baby and whatnot. Uh, she says, I noticed the umbilical cord looked like an animal had torn it apart. Now she'll go on to say how you know difficult they are to cut, so she really had to like rip it apart. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm just imagining the scene. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's horrifying absolutely horrifying and then to just walk back to the room like nothing happened i'm just oh my god i can't i just cannot imagine now what i want to do is talk about the prom pictures and a little quick uh you know excerpt from the photographer who took those and what they had to say so i'm going to put these up on the screen and we'll review those before we get into those video clips of the interview with the boyfriend and mother now again all smiles happy go lucky this type thing now here's the thing and i'll say this for me i can't imagine showing my face at school after this but then this right here but also from what i understand is a lot of this was still very hush hush like it was not all out there in the media like it is now now the first article here does say smiling alexi treviso seen at prom after dumping newborn baby in hospital trash it's by olivia land june 30th 2023 now it talks in the beginning about how the photographer was snapping pictures and they say you would never have known about the recent tragedy down in the third paragraph she was holding her boyfriend's arm it was big smiles they were excited to be at prom who uh, said Melody, who was hired to capture the high school seniors on the mock red carpet, told the outlet, I had no idea about the baby at the time, but when I look back on the photos, I remember her because I remember how unusual I thought it was that she wore such a short dress. Now, I find this interesting for two reasons. You know, number one, that they went to prom. Number two, like nothing happened. But number three, that the photographer pointed out, and this could just be their personal opinion, because in my mind, I'm just like, uh, I've seen what the kids wear these days, and it's pretty skimpy, right? Um, so so for her to point this out if she wore such a short dress, you know, I just thought that was an interesting detail that she added in there. Um, but now, you know, on one hand, I sit here and I'm like, well, Paul, what would you expect her to do? She was willing to throw the baby away. Pretend she didn't know. Pretend she didn't. We'll go with that. Like, she didn't know she was pregnant. She just all of a sudden had this baby, you know, and but was willing to throw it away in the garbage and then try and lie about it. 
well, I wouldn't expect her to not go to prom and smile, right? I mean, that just seems par for the course. Okay, now we're gonna look at some of those video clips I talked about of the mother, of the boyfriend in the hospital waiting room, all this is popping off, and I, we'll just watch them and we'll talk about them, but pay attention to what the mother is saying and her behavior, and mother, I'm talking about Lexi, you're gonna see Lexi's mother, you're gonna see the boyfriend and his mother in these shots as well. Hi, right, Rosa? Yeah, that's me. Okay. Is this your family? Yes. Okay, hi, I'm Detective Gonzalez, our chief police department. Uh, what questions do you have for me right now? Um, what's gonna go on? Like, what, can I be with her? Can... She's getting life lighted out right now. Okay. So they're taking her right now. Okay. I haven't spoke to her at all. Okay, so like, what... Like, what's going to go on? Like, what, are they, what's going to happen with her? Like, So she's going to get treatment before we even talk to her because she needs to be stabilized. So mm -hmm. she, that's why she didn't life let it out. Okay. Once she gets stabilized, we'll try and talk to her. Um, the baby's going to go up north for autopsy. Mm -hmm. More likely it will be done with them the next day. Um, is she going to get detained after, like, she's released? How? Get what? Like, are y'all going to take her into custody or anything like that? Like, that depends what? on what the DA finds. We have to wait for the autopsy to come back to see what happened. Okay, so all throughout this, what interests me is the mother's main concern. Not her daughter's well-being, not her daughter's health, not anything. It's charges, arrest. Now, trust me, I get it, right? As a parent, you don't want to see your kid get arrested. This is on the premise that we are believing the mother that she did not know that she was pregnant. I find it hard to believe, but, you know, okay. And I'm also going to the premise of other videos of, like, when, you know, this, with the hospital room video, I did another video on that one, we won't go over it here, you know, where that's the first thing, not like, oh my God, honey, are you okay? It's this immediate, do you know what kind of trouble you're going to be in? I mean, just this immediate wanting to lash out at the daughter, and I'm like, oh, I see why she was afraid to tell her she was pregnant, you know, and that doesn't change here. That's like her main concern. Also, we'll notice the way she kind of talks about the baby. But the same way the daughter did, referring to it as it and things like that. I mean, they're both very removed from this. But again, allegedly, this was a complete surprise to the mother. Now, any... So here's the thing. Even if she came to her mom, Mom, I haven't told you, but I'm sorry I'm pregnant and I'm going into labor right now. Obviously a shock. I mean, I'm not even trying to discount that, but she didn't do that. She went there for back pain. And so... I mean, you almost have to go on the premise of, I guess, the mother saying she didn't know, so what kind of shock is that? But, again, yeah, I find that a uh, tall drink of water to get down, but I digress. Let's keep going. Even though she's of age, if she's not available to be contacted, can we put you down as next of kin for all my... Okay. And you'd be grandmother? I'm mom. So you'd be, the de mom. you'd be the destined grandmother? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. So she... That's her boyfriend. Now, one thing I find interesting in this is to look at the body behavior, language, whatever you want to call it, of the boyfriend's mother. Because, and again, I don't know these people. This is just my opinion. But first of all, I just think that they're looking at what a shock to her, too. Like, what, your girlfriend? Especially for them, right? Because if they had no idea about this, and it's like, we're in the hospital, your girlfriend, your, first of all, you got your girlfriend pregnant. Secondly, she killed the baby, allegedly. Now we're here. I just feel like this mother's looking at this mom like, a uh, girl, like, she already knows the tea with this mother is what I'm getting at. Notice how the mom is like, no, I'm the mom. Now, she could have been confused at first, like, no, I'm not her grandmother, you know, type thing. I mean, I kind of get that, but just scoots right over, like, this non-association of the baby being the baby's grandmother. Also, notice how she points to the other mother. Well, she is, too. And that's the boyfriend. And I just feel like there's this animosity like this. She's ready to pounce. Imagine what she would be like as a mother-in-law or even intervening with a teenage relationship. I mean, it would probably be a nightmare. I was with her... I know she talked to him for a while on the phone, and then she came to me, so I've been with her the rest of the time. Today? Mm -hmm. oh, so what did she come here for that she told you? She had 
she told me she had back pain. That's it? That's it. Okay. Has she been having back pain before? Yeah, she's... Pain for her and her hips is... is no, I mean, she was born with, like, her... I don't know, it was, like, crooked. Her spine? Okay, because my ex-husband, he hit me. He beat me whenever I was pregnant with her. Mm -hmm. So she was early. So, um... She had some problems with her hips. Like, I always had to take her to the chiropractor to get adjusted mm -hmm. because she couldn't use, like, she was always getting constipated. Like, she had to get lined up, whatever. So, I mean, I've been taking her to chiropractor because I always thought, you know, well, this time, you know, I didn't know. I honestly didn't know she was pregnant. I didn't know. I just thought, like she said, I have back pain while my hips are hurting me. I think I need to go to the chiropractor. I said, okay, let's go tomorrow. But she was like in really a lot of pain and you know. Look at all of the unnecessary information in that. I'm just like, she came in for back pain. I mean, we've gone from she was early, my husband beat me, I didn't know she was pregnant, and there you go. I, I honestly didn't know she was pregnant. You know, and that's where I'm like, okay, so, I mean, if we're going face value, then you didn't know she was pregnant, but, I mean, come on. Now, also, I go back to the statement when they were talking on the police body cam footage, and who knows what this is in reference to, when the first reaction out of her mouth it, when she finds out that the daughter had the baby in the bathroom is, you know, Lexi, I told you about this, you know, so if people at school were questioning her pregnancy i cannot imagine how at home this would not be questioned as well no when did it start like the pain yes uh today she's or last yesterday she said it was really bad that her hips were hurting and her back and then last night we're on the phone together and she said her her hips were hurting bad and i said faster if anything else is hurting and she said just everything and she went to sleep but she's a cheerleader too so she's big in cheer they have a cheer competition she's she works out i mean and she's been active this whole yeah, time she's been active this whole time and how long have you all been together uh, almost two years two years okay so i'm um, not trying to be rude you're but you are more than likely will would be the father okay Yes. <laughs> no, no, we get it. We get Sometimes it. Sometimes it happens. Um, <clears throat> gets a little shaky when it's newborn, stuff like that. But with, like, death certificates, stuff like that, interpreting his sons, if you choose to use them, we'll be the ones to help you get those. Um, other than that, because that's all really you'd need, and they can help you with the afterlife care, okay? Mm hmm Um... Do y'all have any questions for me right now? No. Okay. Do you have my number? You can... That is my work phone if you want to text me. Okay. Or call me. I have my email on there. Now, obviously, regardless of how anyone arrived in this situation, it's sad when you sit here and hear him talking about afterlife care, things of this nature, right? I mean, this is not... This is not good. This is devastating. Uh, so I'll give that all to them. I mean, you know, whether they knew, didn't know, whatever. Now, it's just another layer on top of it when it's a scenario of, you know, she looks like she probably killed the baby. I mean, this is terrible. Uh, and especially, I mean, if the teen, if the boyfriend uh, here didn't know... You know, I mean, my God, right? It doesn't sound like she told him, but time will tell that. One thing I found interesting in these few clips that we watched last was when asked about, you know, I'm not trying to be rude, but will you most likely be the father? And notice how fast the mother answers the question, too. Yes. You know, like, and, and of course they're going to have to ask this. I mean, because at the end of the day, the female is always the only one who will ever know, like, is the male, you know what I'm saying, the actual dad. So, I mean, and I get this insinuation of where she's sleeping around. And, you know, I get that that's a little bit like whatever, but the mom is so quick with that. Um, another thing, if you go back and watch the clips, is to watch his mom, the boyfriend's mom, how she looks at the mother. And again, it could just be me reading into it, but I just almost feel like she just kind of knows. Like, yeah, this one here you know I, there's something going on here and that's not to insinuate guilt in anything but just more like a personality type is what I feel um, and again only time will tell if this goes to trial which unless they cop to a plea deal or whatever I think it will um, all this information will come out and 
that could be one reason that I could see them not wanting to take it to trial because it does seem she's very image conscious and that type thing. And if what the friends say are true about the Alexi, then she would be too. The thing with this is we've already heard the mother say she's coming after the hospital and she's coming after the cops and this, that, and the other to sue everybody. You know, when at the end of the day, something clearly took place in this household that made your daughter afraid to come to you and say she was pregnant, that she made a mistake, that she messed up, and we need to fix this as a family because this is when you really need your family. And then when you get into the whole thing of being willing to go to the hospital, continue lying about being pregnant, being sexually active. I mean, there's clearly some deep rooted issues here, you know, and if the mother if the, her side, Lexi's side, whatever, has gotten a hold of an attorney who's like, we're going to go the it's not your fault route, which sounds like what they've done, I don't think it will end well. Now, again, I'm not a nurse or anything like this, so these meds they talked about and this, that, and the other, and protocol at a hospital, I don't know that, and I don't know the exact moment-for-moment -moment timeline. Yes, I find it odd that she went in. Allegedly, they didn't tell her she was pregnant, according to her lawyer. You know, so she goes to the bathroom. You know, I think the evidence will show that she pro I mean, she knew she was pregnant, number one, in my opinion. Number two, I think that the hospital probably was trying to find a way to tell her that, not around the mother, but you see how the mother is. So, them saying that we thought she went into the bathroom to do something to herself to, you know, mess the pregnancy up tells me that she knew from the test that she took. But well, again, evidence will show this. And if you know more about this part, drop it in the comments uh, because this is going to be an interesting one. You know, again, I just, I don't think the evidence looks good in her favor. You know, right, wrong, or indifferent, she had a child in the hospital bathroom and put it in a bag and now the child is dead. You know, um, that's at the end of the day. So we will continue watching this one. If you're still watching, drop some little sofas for Roscoe and let me know what you think in the comment section. What do you think about the mother's behavior? You know, do you think it's a contributing factor to what took place? Do you think that, you know, do you believe the friends? Do you believe what's being said at school? Or are they just high school rumors? I want to know. Anyways, thank you for watching. Until we do meet back up again in the comment section to discuss all this, I'll see y'all there.